from Theo Rossi announcing an all-cast spinoff to the potential of a Nomad show. The Sons of Anarchy showrunners have revealed another series spinoff. Theo Rossi, aka Juice Ortiz, just dropped a bombshell. He's been teasing us with hints about a spinoff that's going to be really cool and totally different from what we've seen before. Can you feel the excitement coursing through your veins? I sure can. I mean, come on, Theo, don't leave us hanging. We need details, man. But hey, I guess he wants to keep us on the edge of our seats, wondering what the heck this spinoff is going to be about. According to Theo, there's a chance we might witness an all-cast Sons of Anarchy reunion. Can you believe it? All your favorite outlaws back together again? It's enough to make any of our hearts skip a beat. Now, let's not forget that we've already had a taste of Sons of Anarchy Extended Universe with Mayans MC. But hey, there's always room for more bikers, am I right? But Theo isn't the only person to talk about a spin-off. Greater Kurt Sutter has been dropping hints like crazy. He's been teasing us with the possibility of more Sam Crow goodness heading our way. And you know what that means, right? More leather-clad awesomeness. Sutter has been itching to delve into the story of Jax's son, Abel. Like, seriously itching. He wants to give us the lowdown on what this kid is up to and how he's carrying on the family legacy. Sutter also spilled the beans on not just one, but two additional shows centered around Jax's family. It's like a whole extended universe of motorcycle mayhem. Mayan's MC was just the beginning. It's chapter two of The Wild Ride. I don't know about you, but the thought of exploring Jax's son's journey and getting to know even more members of this crazy biker clan has me giddy with excitement. Now, we don't have all the details just yet, but knowing Sutter's track record, we're in for some intense storytelling jaw-dropping plot twists, and probably a few heart-wrenching moments that will leave us clutching our leather vests for support. Honestly, as long as we have the same writing team around, there's no doubt in anyone's mind that this will be just as good as the original. But with that said, what would this Abel spinoff be about? Well, Abel would be all grown up, navigating the crazy world of motorcycles, brotherhood, and all that family drama. He's like a little Sam Crow seed that sprouted into its own wild tree. The apple didn't fall far from the motorcycle, huh? We get to witness Abel's journey of self-discovery as he unravels the secrets of his family's history and legacy. Imagine him digging through dusty old crates, uncovering long-lost letters and badass biker artifacts. It's like a treasure hunt, but with leather jackets instead of pirate hats. Of course, we can't forget the aftermath of Jax's death. Abel's dear old dad left a legacy of chaos and questions. How did it affect him? How did it shape his view of the world? we'd see the ripple effects of Jax's decisions on Abel and the rest of the family. And with that, imagine all the familiar faces popping up in the spinoff. Characters from Sons of Anarchy and Minds MC making cameos, crossing paths with Abel. It'll be a whole family reunion, and let's not forget the signature Sons of Anarchy vibes. I'm talking family, loyalty, and violence served with a side of roaring engines. It's a recipe for heart-pounding action, emotional roller coasters, and probably a few moments where we question our own sanity. I mean, that's what this franchise is all about, right? But despite all the excitement, this spinoff about Abel's journey isn't set in stone just yet. Sometimes these things can get canceled faster than you can say motorcycle gang. And this could also meet that fate. Remember when they were talking about a Sons of Anarchy prequel series? They had big plans for a limited series with four movies, showing us the club's history from John Teller and Piney's time in Vietnam all the way to Clay's arrival. Sounds epic, right? But see, that prequel series never saw the light of day. And guess what? We don't even know why it got canceled. The series was meant to be a part of a whole Sons of Anarchy mythology, alongside the original show, Mayans MC, and a project called First Nine and Sam Crow. But it wasn't meant to be. Sometimes plans crumble like a stale cookie. We may never know what secrets the prequel would have revealed about the first nine and their backstory. The road to spin-off glory can be a rocky one. So let's keep our fingers crossed for Abel's spin-off and hope it doesn't suffer the same fate. But that's not all. There could potentially be even more stories that get their own spin-off. One of them could be about Chib's backstory. Out of all the Sam Crow members, it's basically just Tig and Chibs who survive from episode 1 to the very end. Talk about durability, huh? Those boys are like the cockroaches of the biker world. But here's where it gets juicy. Chibs has one heck of a compelling backstory. Born in Scotland, raised in Ireland, and a former member of the IRA. That's like a triple threat of intense history right there. And don't even get me started on his rivalry with Jimmy O. That man stole Chibs' wife and raised his daughter as his own. Sure, we've gotten glimpses of this story throughout the Sun's time in Belfast, but we need the whole story. 
a Chib spinoff would be the perfect opportunity to dig deep into his past and give us a front row seat to all the gritty details. I'm talking intense rivalries, rise of the Sons of Anarchy in Belfast, and some serious character exploration for Fiona. Gemma once said Fiona was the only woman she was afraid of. Can you imagine the kind of power and presence she must have had? I'm telling you, that's a character who deserves her own spotlight. She's the secret weapon, the hidden gem of the Sam Crow universe. But beyond just that, another spinoff could be about charming PD. In Sons of Anarchy, the whole good versus evil dynamic gets twisted like a pretzel. The police, the FBI, and the ATF are supposed to be the good guys. But our beloved outlaw bikers make their lives as difficult as untangling earphones in the dark. It's a recipe for chaos. Imagine a spin-off that puts Charming PD front and center. I'm talking about the daily struggles, the uphill battles, and the desperate attempts to catch those dangerous criminals while working within the confines of the law. Yeah, it's that crazy. And hey, let's not forget the characters who held the law enforcement fort in Charming. We've got Unser, the chief of police, who's got a serious internal conflict going on. On one hand, he's trying to keep the peace and uphold the law. But on the other hand, he's knee-deep in the outlaw environment of Charming. It's like walking a tightrope without a safety net. And then there's Hale, the young and upcoming officer who's as by the books as it gets. He's the fresh-faced rookie trying to navigate the treacherous waters of Sam Crow's mischief. We've got ourselves a classic clash of ideologies here. So picture the spinoff as a prequel, showing us the rise of Unser, the descent into corruption, and the constant tug of war between his outlaw surroundings and his desire to see Hale handle things better than he ever could. It's a battle of head versus heart, rules versus chaos, and in a similar light, we could see a Nomad spinoff as well. Now the Nomads are like the wild cards of the club. They aren't tied down to any single charter. They can be called into action or loaned out to any charter that needs their unique set of skills. It's like having a bunch of biker mercenaries on speed dial. How cool is that? We've seen glimpses of this nomad life through characters like Happy, who did the nomad gig before going all in with Sam Crow. And even Jax himself considered joining the nomads at one point. Imagine a spinoff that shines a spotlight on the nomads. It would be a whole new dynamic for the Sons of Anarchy universe. I'm talking about a revolving door of characters, coming in and out like a biker circus. We could have the likes of Happy, Quinn, Montez, Wes, and maybe even Bobby, depending on when the series is set. It's like assembling a dream team of motorcycle mayhem. This spinoff could run parallel to the events of Sons of Anarchy, showing us how the nomads were affected by the chaos and mayhem of Jax and his crew. And hey, just because the charter was disbanded doesn't mean they can't come back together for a sequel, right? It's like a biker reunion tour but with a whole lot more leather and horsepower. So from the potential Nomad show to Theo Rossi announcing an all-cast spinoff, these were all the Sons of Anarchy spinoffs that have been revealed.